You know, so many times I see on uh, a couple of comments, messages that people send me, you stupid kids, you should uh, not show Bell Run. Why are you doing screenshot? You know, well, if you'd watch the rest of the video, you'd get the idea and know why we were doing it. But I don't care. Doesn't make a shit to me because we're going to keep on doing it. And we have video in here. Shoot, a lot of people tell me I need to uh, slim down the time frame on how much video I put on here. And so many people post D2 videos on how godly their item is and how you'll never have it. Well, here at the craft chest, that's one thing we love to do is spread the fun. And I'm going to show you as a reply to a couple of people that have left comments and sent me messages on how to build a couple of characters that I bumped into them on Battle.net and people here on YouTube on how to build a good plane Hammerdon, how to build a Dragon Pally, and hopefully we'll get this out here without taking too much time because the 10 minute time frame that I try to stay within or people start to lose interest and start yawning and do everything else. So without further avail, you go ahead haters Keep on hating, because if you ever bump into me or any of our crew, we'll show you what's up. And without all the hacks, let's do it. All right, so here we are. I'm going to show you the skill tree on what you need to max to make a good playing Hammerdon, whether it be PBM or PVP for you Canadian who wants to be poonage of anybody. Yes, Hammerdons can be good and PVM and PVP, more so PVM than PVP. If you don't know what that means, it means person versus monster, person versus person. Because I know a lot of people throw out all these fancy abbreviations and they never, never, never tell you what it is because ha ha ha, I'm big man, big woman, who knows words that you do not and know how to abbreviate. So anyway, let me show you what you need to do. Let's start off with the combat skills. You're making a hammerdin, so of course you want to max Blessed Hammer. And the other thing that you want to max because of what it does is max out Holy Shield. Now, if you'll notice, Blessed Hammer receives bonuses from Blessed Aim and Vigor. So we go here, which is not going to show Vigor right away, but we're going to go to Offensive Auras. And another one that you want to max is Blessed Aim. And one other one is concentration. Those are the focal points in that particular one. On the defensive auras, you want to max out vigor. You want to put a point down to get to them. And then down at the bottom, salvation for, let's see, your increased defense for your party. And a couple of points in redemption, which gives you your redemption of souls for your life and mana. So that's the basic build of a Hammerdon. What can this Hammerdon do with these skills, you say? Well, let's bring up the chart here, and without any hacks or anything, this is a legitimate build. First of all, level 97, legit, no bot, nothing more than me spending countless days of when I didn't have anything to do after Katrina, to play D2 when I got home in my little bitty trailer that FEMA had nothing to do with while my house was being rebuilt. So anyway, you'll notice I have 14K here, and there is one other thing that I forgot that I had that actually boosted me to 15K. And notice down here on energy, you put zero in mana. I don't care what anybody says, don't put anything in mana, period. The end. No points in mana. There's enough uh, aura, skills, uh, you name it, equipment that's going to give you plenty of mana. And if you have a good Merc, which I'll show you in just a moment, with his weapon, you will not have to worry about that. Mainly insight. Now, you'll notice most of the points are in vitality or life. And my base life is 1797. I have maxed out most of my life at 404. On the strength part, just enough to wear the equipment. On dexterity, just enough to wear the equipment. So, what is the equipment? For a Hammerdon, the ideal build, for most anyway, is a Shaco. 
for the helm, a Maras for the amulet, Enigma for the teleport, and a rack sash for your belt. And notice that most of these add skills. Stone of Jordan, Stone of Jordan, a Herald of Zakarum, other known as a Haas, and Sandstorm Trek Boots that give you faster run walk, your recovery, faster hit recovery on that, gives you strength, gives you vitality, and your gloves gives you 20 faster cast rate. Now you can use Mage Fist, you, should, you can use Trang. I've seen see, some people on their so-called godly paladins use Drax for some reason. Not really sure why. That wouldn't be a good choice of mine anyway. And of course, another Haas on your alternate. And if you're lucky enough to have one or able to get it, a good CTA or call to arms. And mine, yeah, it's kind of low. I got a three five or what do you call it, a four five three. Yeah, it's not too shabby, but I've seen better on people. So that's the basic build on a Hammerden. All right. Now this is just what I have for him: a rolled and Daryl and Daryl and Daryl visage, or an Andes. For his helm and the important thing for a paladin because you don't put your mana up is going to be insight mine happens to be level 16 which isn't too bad and for his armor fortitude this one is made out of sacred armor and understand that as long as your merc has enough strength to wear anything that's all he really needs dexterity not really a big issue with mercs. Being ethereal, not a big issue because nothing deteriorates or loses durability on a merc. A lot of people won't tell you that. It's common knowledge between godly players and they don't tell you this because they think you're a noob and dumbass if you don't. But anyway, this one right here gives 121 to life based on character level. Mine happens to be a level 97 just like I am so he is a really godly merc. And his damage is 920 to 418. Let's see what happens. Let's see here. Where am I? I have to cut this. This is going to take too long. I'm not used to this map, man. This is like level one map. Come here. Where's my Merc? Get over here, Merc. There. Even he's lagging. All right. Oh, the lag of it all. All right. And if you bow him with a decent bow, look at his damage now. 1772 to 8181. All right. Awesome. That's not too shabby for a merc. And especially just having a, a weapon like Insight with a base damage of 66 to 557. So, you know, not too shabby at all. Um, jumps his life up to 3982, which is base life was probably something around 2200. Because Mercs are pretty tough. And let's see here. Jumps my life up to 2950. And I showed you the base earlier. The other one that I have is 19 life, um, magic find, magic find, 19 life, strength, 19 life, 33 life, 29 life, magic find, 19 life, and magic find. All right, but that is the basic build on either one of these characters, and once again, like I said, I hope it helped because the information is everything, not just the game, not just knowing all of it, not just knowing that you can punish on anyone. Because I'm not going to sit here and say, I am a fiend. I can poon anyone. You are noob. You're either a pro or you're not. You're a pro or nothing. Well, Craft Chess says this. You either have a good friends network and information network or you're nothing. Because you can be all you want without a life 
There's only D2. Oh, my goodness. From the crap chest, have fun and long live U.S. East.